things that we're planning on doing to doing with the shop, uh, with this, this marketing, is getting uh, very special markets. There are, are markets in the South that will pay very high prices for things that are of exceptional quality and, and are very special to, uh, to places like Labrador or any other area, but they're, they're, they're made only in those areas. Uh, by, dealing, by having a central place like the, 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 the shop here, with all the craft councils dealing with the shop, and if we're seeing all the items that come through, and LCPA is aware of all this, the, the, the various things that are being made, we can, we can look for things that, are, uh, that are, are of exceptional quality, and we can save things that can then be put into a show. They can be made into an exhibition. And by doing that, you can, you can bring, the, bring the prices much higher on, on certain items. And these are all things that over the next few years we hope to do for the Labrador craft producers. Is uh, locating the, the top quality and and holding pieces like that that can be shown in very special places so that, that we can begin making the prices higher for the craft producers in Labrador. Yes. So, kung gusto sa hatam ni mahawala ko magalamit, tay matanda ko hawak ko niyo na alay tayong sawtray to buyo pa ta. Tay malikayo ko lang na kanilid ko yung at sa wala. Um, how are you doing to do it? I love to do it. Uh, in order to do this, we need the cooperation of, of craft producers and the craft councils in Labrador to help us um, help Labrador. Um, what we have done um, here in the valley has, has, has been to make up a pricing schedule, which I think everybody has to do. Suleiman Valley. If you don't, um, if you could let us know we I'd like to show you how, how we arrived at this and how we use this. It's, it's something that you might be able to use now in the <laughs> craft council. And uh, if, you may, if you find that it isn't useful in your craft council now, perhaps a year or two from now, you, you'd find that, that making up a booklet of these as a print. I'm going to show you how the pricing is done. Uh, this was made from a page that we used to price it
the you wouldn't have to look at the sheet. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't have to look at the material in the label part. If it's a plain bit, you would go to the extra to the quality, to the size of quality, and pick out the price right there. But if the mid had extra, such as embroidery on it, or if it has a uh, uh, first grade fur, which is the fox fur, or the second grade fur, like rabbit, you would have similar <coughs> prices here. So you would take your, your <coughs> say it, it's a top quality mid at 350. And it has, uh, say, embroidery around the, uh, around the edge and has a, a design in the, in the middle, which you would, you would decide whether it's, it's somewhere between a dollar to four dollars. Four dollars would be, would be an elaborately important one. Say it, it has three dollars. Add three dollars to that, and if it has a uh, first grade fur around it, say it's got such as fox tail, you would add four fifty to that price. Six dollars? Six dollars. Fox tail. I'm saying that this is a, this is a sample, this is an example, and this was the price we had before. <laughs> Thank you. 
this shop will carry everything that the craft producers want and need. And if it, if it doesn't, I want them to let us know what, what they want and need. And uh, then do their ordering through this, through the shop, because the shop is getting their materials at a wholesale cost. And that's a cheaper price than what you can get from the, from the other stores. And if you, if you use the, the material at a cheaper price, then the producer can be getting more, more, getting more money. And who will get better price if you